Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. I'm Vanessa Canby and this is Alfie. Say hi Alfie. Look at them. So about six months ago we got Alfie in March and we absolutely love him. So I wanted to share things that scare me about having a chihuahua but also things that I love about having a chihuahua. And is a chihuahua right for you if you're looking for a dog? So I want to start off with one thing that I didn't really think about before I got a chihuahua and that was the fear. So because he's so small in comparison to other dogs, like basically every other dog out there, I get the fear when I'm walking him, like every time I'm walking him I'm just so scared that something's gonna happen to him, like that another dog's basically going to attack him because I've had quite a few fear stories from people telling me that dogs have been, I mean chihuahuas, have been killed by other dogs. And not even like vicious dogs, so I'm so cautious. Um, I barely let him off the lead out, like in the, just like a, a park type thing. But he can, I do let him off the lead if we're in like an enclosed space or if we're in my garden or any garden, basically. Um, but I think that's a major thing, something that I just hadn't thought of and he and the thing about Alfie is like he's so friendly so he likes to go up to other dogs and say hi and who knows if you know a dog's reactive or not so basically it's just a bit risky. One thing that I love about Chihuahuas or Alfie in general is something that I'd read. So before I got him, I read that like, oh, they're the worst dog to get for a family dog and like, they're not a good family dog and stuff like that, or you should get a Labrador or something like that. And I was just thinking like, oh, but I'd already decided I wanted one, so I don't even know why I was reading these things. But Alfie is an amazing family dog. He's like unreal. He's so friendly with the kids. He, like, Maya will be up in his face, stroking him, hugging him, and he won't do anything. He'll just, like, lick her hand. She goes up, she puts her hand out, and he licks her hand, and it's the cutest thing ever. Um, and I'd say he's actually such, just such an amazing family dog. I don't know where that comes from. Another misconception, I think, is that they're yappy. Alfie is not yappy. Like, he will only bark if he sees a squirrel, a cat, and that's about it. So like if there's a squirrel or, or a cat in our garden and he can see it and he's inside or actually if he's outside, he'll bark at it. But apart from that, he is not yappy. Like he doesn't bark for no reason or just yap, yap, yap. He actually makes no noise at all. Yeah, but maybe some other chihuahuas are like that. Maybe it's just the way they've been raised or whatever. One thing that I didn't know about, there he goes, bye. One thing that I didn't really know before I got Chihuahua was that they're quite prone to like dental disease because they've got such small skulls and mouth structure they can quite easily get dental disease because like all their teeth are crammed together. So we actually just found out that Alfie, I can actually see a squirrel now. There's just so many squirrels in our garden. It's actually, I love it to be honest with you. But Alfie does it. <laughs> We just found out that Alfie's got one of his baby teeth hasn't fallen out and apparently they're meant to fall out at six months so he's gonna have to get that taken out they said but I'm hoping that it falls out before they have to take it out but anyway <coughs> working at a squirrel let me see if I can show you what are you looking at Alfie the squirrel's not gonna get you Alfs Another thing I love about having a chihuahua is another like family friendly thing is that so yeah if he jumps up onto Maya she doesn't fall over because he's so small whereas like if other dogs jump up onto Maya she falls over and that's happened a few times which is really a shame. One thing that's amazing about having a dog with kids is that your kids will love dogs. So me and my sister never had a well, we had pets, we had guinea pigs, but anyway, we never had a dog. So we were never like that keen on them. My sister was absolutely terrified of them when she was younger. And I feel like that's just such a shame because what, when you're like 
walking around and you're petrified because there's a dog there when there's actually loads of dogs. Another great thing about having a long hair chihuahua, you don't really have to brush them that much, so he, his hair is long, he's really weird, he is a long hair chihuahua, he's not really weird, but like his ears, all the hair around there is long, the actual like breast part is long, and his tail is really long, but the, I mean to be honest, the hair here is quite long, but it's not, like you do get ones with much longer hair, I don't know why that is that he's like that, because both his parents were long hair. Oh. Chihuahuas are hard, harder to potty train, is that what you call it? House train. So other dogs are apparently much easier and chihuahuas are hard and trust me, we're, he still has accidents. This is six months in and we trained him. There was one point where he was going outside, like he was not going inside, but now he's gone back to like sometimes going inside, which is, you know, a bit annoying to say the least, but we just need to per persevere with the training and hope that he gets over this stage. Some people say it's because their bladders are smaller, because they're smaller dogs, they can't hold it in for longer, but I have no idea. All I know is that they're not easy to potty train. Alfie hated his um, cage. When I say hated, it's actually still there. I need to just get rid of it. He went in it maybe like, no, actually, to be honest, do you know what happened? We had this cloth one, this fabric one that's in the hall, the puppy hall, but he like bit through it on the first night. So then we had to get that one, that metal Kong one, and he just hated it. Like we tried to shut him in, which I thought was so horrible anyway, but everyone said that was the best thing to do. And he just like cried and barked. And I was like, this is such a shame. And as soon as we opened the door, he was absolutely fine. And he just slept. And that was on like day two. But we didn't actually ever leave him in that with it closed for any length of time at all. So it lasted one day and then we stopped because I thought it was really cruel. I know loads and loads of people say that it's a nice safe place for him. It's still there. He can still have it as a safe place. It's just that I don't shut him in there. Another thing about Chihuahuas or Alfie is that he barely eats that much. He's actually massive for a Chihuahua, so he's 4kg and that's not normal. <laughs> Chihuahuas are only meant to go up to from like 1.5 to 3kg, but apparently you can get, he is pedigree, apparently you can get some that go like get much much bigger. But anyway, what I was saying is he doesn't eat that much, so he'll only have like, some days he'll eat more, some days, some days he'll eat more, some days he'll eat less, but if you're eating, he's there. Like he's really keen to eat what we are eating, or if he can get any scraps off the floor, he loves that. Oh, come back to see me. Um, yeah, he loves getting scraps off the floor. But the vet told me that that's just the way they are. Like, they're, it's not that they don't like the food you're giving them, it's just that they'd rather basically try and get human food, which is a bit weird. Yeah, all in all, I'm so, so happy with Alfie, and I'm so happy that we chose a chihuahua. As for walking, you can do like a long walk. Some people say that chihuahuas can't do a long walk, but sometimes we take him up like hills in uh, Edinburgh and he's totally fine. Like he never once picked up when he's walking. I don't know what that's about and who picks their dog up when they're walking them, but he never ever wants to be picked up when we're walking and he's like capable of doing a long walk. So that's like another sort of misconception I guess about chihuahuas. Alfie has started like loving basically humping teddies, which is really weird it's not weird i know that's what dogs do but it makes me feel like oh he needs a friend like do dogs need another dog or and is, if they don't have another dog is it really cruel that's what i'm starting to think now I'm like this is such a shame obviously he meets other dogs out and about but because none of our family have dogs there's no constant dogs in his life <laughs> okay i might be taking this too far but like this actually gets to me when I'm looking at him and I'm like, it was basically the same as when I had Oscar and I was looking at him thinking you need a sibling. I'm looking at Alfie thinking you need a sibling. So I don't know. What do you think? Do dogs need to have another dog to be happy or can they be happy? To be honest, he seems happy. But yeah, tell me, dog 
dog professionals let me know what do you think do you guys have a dog what dogs have you got has anyone got a chihuahua or is anyone thinking about getting a chihuahua let me know below and any questions about alfie i'd love to answer them so yeah thanks for watching guys and please subscribe and like this video if you liked it bye